We're gonna make something for the guys today, so stay tuned for a really fun project. Hey guys, I'm Katie, and today we are going to make something for the guys. It's a really cool bracelet in macrame shambhala style, and you can use any beads that will fit on waxed cord. And the thing I love about it, I wear these too, is that it has an adjustable clasp at the back, so it's really easy to take on and off. All right, let's talk about the tools and supplies for this project. I'm gonna be using my Naughty Do It All board to clamp my project while I work. I'm gonna need my Hypo Cement. This is just what I use to dab it on there with. I need a cord cutter or flush cutter, some beads. These are just regular hold eight millimeter beads. Um, if you want, you can use large hole beads. I have some one millimeter wax cord and I have my chain nose plier in case I need it to help me with those knots. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut about three feet of the cord and I went ahead and strung my beads on to save a little time. I'm going to tape one end down to my surface, leaving about five inches of extra up here at the top. And slide my beads here. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and tape it a little down here as well. You can use a macrame board or a naughty do-it-all for this as well, but I feel like it'll be easier for you to see the knot process like this. Now I'm gonna cut about three feet of cord again and show you how to get started. So this is just a normal macrame knot. It's called a square knot. You're gonna run your cord underneath that cord. And on the left side, make a P shape. And then with this other side, you're gonna go back over the previous one go under and through P and pull tight. And then you're gonna do the same thing, but on the opposite side. You make a P shape, bring this cord over and under, and through and pull. I'll show you one more time. Make a P shape, take this one, go over, under and through. Make a P shape, go over, under and through. I'm actually gonna do it one more time. Make a P shape, under, through, and once more on the right. So that'll get your bracelet started. And next you will slide up one bead and do that same process twice. You're making that same movement over the bead. Under, through, and on the right. Over, under, and through. Slide up another bead and just keep going with that process. I'm not pulling it too tight, but you do wanna make sure that everything is secure as you go. And that's why a macrame board or a naughty do it all would be probably better for this project, but I'm just, I think you can see what I'm doing better with the tape to the table. 
and you just slide up another bead and continue the process. Once you get to the end of your beads, you will repeat that knot the same number of times that you did at the top. Okay, and then at the very end of these little pieces, you are going to tie a knot. And this is where I like to bring in my hypo. I just take a little dab of it onto the knot. And if you're using a synthetic fiber cord, you can just use a lighter and cut them here. But this is this would catch on fire. Okay. Open my hypo and my hypo I broke, so this is why I have my little my little stick to help me put the glue on. So once those dry, you can trim off the ends, but next I'm gonna show you how to make your class. So you still have your main cord running through your piece. You're going to overlap them and clamp here and here. And I'm gonna turn my board this way. Cut another piece of cord about a foot long and run it underneath that segment. And we're going to do the same knot about 10 times. But it's a little different because you're kind of doing it in midair. So find the middle, make your P, and then with this side, go over that one and under everything through the loop and pull. Same thing on the other side, make your key go over and under and through. It's actually a lot easier when you have a nice board to hold everything together. And while I'm doing this, I can talk about the beads. Before you start, you want to 
decide on how many beads you want to use. And that just depends. So I would string all of your beads onto a cord and hold them around your wrist and then add about an inch or two inches just depending on how many knots you're planning on doing. And it also just depends on your bead size. All right, once you're happy with that, you are going to tie two more little knots to end your cord. Make sure they're really close up if you can. And put a little glue on those as well. They make special cord for this. That's a lot easier to use, but I just wanted to use this cord because I had it and it's a nice waxed cord, but they also as I said, make the kind that you can just cut and burn that knot beautifully. So it's up to you. So you want to definitely let that dry, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut. And then unclip that. And then cut these two. Okay, so then the last step is gonna be to pull your bracelet closed. And the great thing is if this is too small for somebody, they can just wear it a little bit more slack, if you will, a little more slack. So then the last step is to just tie a knot on either side here. If you want, you can tie a little bead there or something, a little spacer bead or something, but I'm just gonna tie double knot. And cut. Try to make try to make them the same length possible. And cut. So now you just pull those and pull those to open. So here are my finished bracelets, and you can see the tiger's eye is large hole, and the sodalite is not. It's just regular size hole. And so with the large hole beads, I actually doubled up the inside core piece. So there were two strands running through all the beads at the beginning, but you can do them with either. Let's go back over the tools and materials we used for this project. We had our Naughty Do It All with our little clips and our glue, hypo cement, flesh cutter, chain nose pliers, need it, one millimeter waxed cord, and tape if you need it. And of course, you'll need beads. If you need to pick up any of the supplies or tools we use today, check out our links in the description below. What other men's jewelry would you make? Let us know in the comments, and while you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.